So this style hand grip is really cool, but that price is not really cool. So I know how to 3D print design stuff. So I designed this guy. I've got two buttons, one for push to talk. One is an option for something else like lights or smoke or something. And then of course my electric trim. So I printed this off as a test piece and then that turned out all right. So I printed the full size thing and that turned out awesome. I'm really happy with that. Even put some little buttons in there that I got from Amazon. So we got trim, push to talk, and then an option for maybe smoke or something like that down the future. But uh, yeah, that's how it turned out. Pretty, pretty nice. I did have to sand it and paint it. Uh, and then I sanded it again, and that's how you get this nice finish on it. All right, so I got the wires all fished through this stick, and then I've got a couple grommets here that are gonna go in to fill that gap of the hole. So it'll protect the wire against that sharp edge of the metal. Um, so those will go in there. Uh, we've got all the cables cut to length, just about. And then we've got the center wires here a little bit thicker. They're gonna carry some voltage for the trim switch, which is gonna go in the center. And then on the two sides, we've got a push to talk and an auxiliary button, which I can use for smoke or a horn or lights or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these soldered in and uh, pop these buttons into place. And that should be the last time that they have to come in or out. Should be in there for good now. The wiring is done as far as the grip goes and to here. Uh, the rest of it's just kind of roughly set in place. Half these wires actually got to go forward, but they're just kind of tucked out of the way for now. And uh, I made sure that at the farthest point of the stick that this wire would uh, have enough slack and then all the rest of it is obviously good to go from there. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. What was on here was a really flimsy, thin sheet aluminum that covered this that was all dented up. I guess it was so thin that every time someone just leaned on it or touched it, it left a dent in it. So it kind of ended up looking like a golf ball. And I was gonna switch to this stronger, well, thicker aluminum and uh, kind of deciding against that because now I'm kind of adding weight where I don't want to add weight. So anything forward of the CG I'm really trying to cut down on weight as much as I can and move it back as far as I can. So this is something that I can change to carbon fiber. It's really easy to make. So I'm gonna get onto that. And in order to do that, I need to make kind of a template or a, a mold for that piece there because I want the carbon to sit over this very, very easily. I could just do a sheet and bend it, but then there's always gonna be some sort of stress on it. And if you lose a screw or whatever, uh, it'll wanna bend out. So it's best to make a perfect mold for that. So what I'm gonna do, I've already got this plywood cut out to the correct shape of this kind of uh, rectangular thing here. And then I've got this, which is gonna be the profile for the, um, for the dash and then for the panel, I guess. And then this is gonna be the front where the cowling mates up to. And I just took those little supports I made off and took a template off there. So I'm gonna cut this out and then this will get screwed on to there. And then from there, I can drape aluminum over it and then just quick and easy, put three coats of carbon fiber over that and we're good to go. Well, that's a wrap for the carbon for now. Um, I'm gonna let this sit overnight and set up. So we've got the panel underneath that aluminum plate that is getting pressed down onto some plexiglass to have a nice clean finish. And that will go right up there because that's what you're looking at all the time. Also, I just got these off the 3D printer 
And these are to hold the fuel lines in place. I've already put a couple of these on here. Same thing. Perfect. That was my first time trying that. It fit right on. And then it should. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Snaps into there and holds that in place. So I've got a couple of these. In and the fuel line clicks in as well. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing apart. Nice, that's how the panel turned out. And then we've got the dash, and I like the raw carbon look of this. Kind of rough and textured. And then this will kind of go right on there once it's trimmed off, put all the gauges on there. That will look amazing. Uh, I just gotta try and figure out how to get this thing apart. Okay, so this is the new panel I've cut out of a flat sheet of carbon. And this is the dash that came out of that mold, I guess you could call it. And I also added a bit of carbon afterwards. This is a second layup and that gets bonded right to the top there. And I had this guy on there with tape on the back so that I could peel this off after laying that up. I'm gonna trim that off there, this top carbon piece with that rough edge. And then this just kind of falls right in place there. So that's pretty sweet, fits like a glove. These little tabs go to vibration dampening grommets, which I just got from Aircraft Spruce. So I'm gonna get those installed and then this panel will be kind of set in place for now. So when you order this Garmin G5 EFIS, uh, you're left with a couple options. You can either mount it sticking out of the panel or you can flush mount it. Either way, you need the basic mounting kit, which is $60 plus this flush mount kit is gonna be $88. And that's kind of how that one looks. So I figured that was something I could take on with the 3D printer. So I came up with this in probably 30 minutes or so and it probably only costed like three cents to print and it printed pretty quick too. And then this is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, it looks pretty strong. It's pretty light, it's solid plastic. It should hold up just fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it works out. All right, here is the panel before it gets cut out. We're gonna have the engine monitor here uh, and then we'll have the Garmin obviously and we are gonna have backup airspeed here. I'm leaving blank as a space for my phone. Uh, and then we'll have the 12 volt jack for the radio. And then the power cord will go, it'll be really short. Hopefully I can find something like that. That'll go right into my phone, which will be mounted here, which have all my maps and all kinds of stuff like that. And then we're gonna have our line of switches and then circuit breakers and maybe something else. I might just leave this blank, but I'd like to order it so that the switch order that you kind of use will line up uh, in sequence. So it'll be like master, uh, avionics, and then maybe fuel pump and then turn it over and that's it. Uh, and then a couple accessories on the side. So I got to figure out a way that I'm going to cut this square hole out, um, while still being really precise, which is going to be pretty tough because these lines are going to be, um, right up against something that's dead straight. So cutting that might be kind of tough. I might end up making some kind of skirt that's going to go around this, uh, like 3d printing it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how well this will work out and then we'll go, kind of go from there. But for now, I got to mark up where this is going to go perfectly in the center there and then we'll get to work.
Okay, so while this was printing, which actually turned out really good, pretty happy with that, it took about an hour, I was able to get all these switches cut in and even that ignition switch. And then I've got these guys roughed in. This will be your engine monitor and then your airspeed over here. And you still got enough room for a phone mount. And then all the circuit breakers still got to go in over here. And then you've still got room uh, to add something else up there. If you, I'm gonna get that Garmin put in and then I'm gonna glue this into place wherever it has to be because there's a bit of play in it. And yeah, just kind of sits there, rests on those screws. It's like the perfect size for those screws. So I'll get that Garmin in, glue that in, see how it looks. just about it for this panel uh, the only thing that's really left is I have to go around and label all these switches otherwise you'll have no idea what you're doing aside from that that's just about it so not really too much left to do with this panel um, once it is finished it's gonna come out and then the plane will get covered but looks pretty good for now and I was able to find a really short cable for this on Amazon um, so that's pretty handy don't have a bunch of stuff flopping around that could potentially get caught in your stick and there's no way that the stick will even reach it so happy with that uh the panel lines up really well with how the stick moves too which is pretty cool so yeah all right guys jumping into the future i've got the panel all wired in uh all the wiring for the plane is actually done at this point but figured i would just show you guys what the panel itself looks like as i'm editing this video so I got all the switches wired in, everything is labeled and everything works. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. And just as a reminder, this is the panel before, um, obviously didn't have any screens in it. So it would have looked more like this, but uh, yeah, significantly smaller now. Love that, lighter, much lighter and way simpler. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I got lots of other stuff coming out soon. So stay tuned, hope to see you on the next one.